everyone, my name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. And I thought I would review the Stock Swoosh 2017 trading room tracking going all the way back from January. So we're in August, uh, more than half the year is over, and so far it's it's been a very strong year. So we will review the trades, winners and losers. If you're interested in more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or feel free to call me at 929-3200-GAP and also like me at Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all under the Stock Swoosh. And you can follow me on Skype or LinkedIn under Gap Traders. So one of the very unique things that I do is I only trade one strategy, number one. Number two, I created it myself so no one else does it. And I'm also very, very focused. When I'm running the trading room in the morning, I'm not just saying I'm watching this. I'm calling the trades in live time with exact entries and the exact stop and the targets of exactly where to get out. Or I'm saying, take it here and get out when I get out. A lot of trade rooms are not easy to follow. They're open all day. I usually only do one trade a day or two. It's rare that I would do more than two, rare that I would even do more than one. It's very easy to follow me if you're in the room, okay? I'm also being very exact. So I don't give just, you know, these huge long watch lists before the trading day. I'm actually telling you what to do in live time with me if you want to do it, if you're in the room trading, which obviously you would be if you did the class. So the Golden Gap course is a prerequisite, which is where I teach my method in order to join the trading room. But it is extremely unique for someone to call trades as exact as I do and run a room live in live, live time. So if you would like a trial, you can have a trial to the room. This week, the class is next week in August 12th and 13th. If you want to learn my method and take advantage of this, this earning season we're in right now, third quarter, um, it's been a really busy time. And then obviously you would know my method and be all set to go to trade coming into the fall period. So let's go all the way back, all the way back till January. QCOM was a winner, Verizon was a winner, TXT was a winner, Matt was a winner, Juniper was a loser, that was on the Friday, and CL was a winner. TPX was a winner, UA was a loser, PBI was a winner, Cross was a winner, and HBI was a winner. That was a strong week. Monday off, Coors was a winner, Akin was a winner, Cree was a winner, and UBNT was a winner. Second week of February. My system has an 80% win ratio. What does that mean? It means you should figure in 10 trades, two will be losers and eight will be winners. But there are many, many weeks where I have all winners. The 13th Google option was a winner. Hang was a winner. AMKR was a winner. Fossil was a winner. Trip was a loser. Friday closed. Monday closed. Tuesday, no calls. Toll was a winner. LB was a winner. Friday, no trades. That's something else that's unique. If I don't have a trade that meets my criteria, I don't do anything on the day, okay? That's how you don't lose and you keep the money you make from the winners, okay? That's common sense. But a lot of traders do not follow that and a lot of room uh, people do not follow that either. They feel like they have to call trades and I don't feel that. It's okay if there's nothing. You don't wanna lose and I'm very strict with my method. AFI, AFSI was a winner. Target was a loser, BBY was a winner, KR was a loser, PBR was a winner, Big was a loser, Cost was a winner. TSM was a winner, Target Option was a winner, Teva was a winner, P was a winner, Urban was a loser, Google Option was a winner, TLRD was a winner, Zoom Z was a winner. So then, no calls, I had a class the 13th, vacation. No trades in the 20th, CSIQ was a winner, Nike was one loser, one winner, two trades in that. FM was a half loss loser and Fennel was a winner. GIII was a winner, no trades in the following day. Next day was busy. Depot was a winner. Then it was a Baba option winner, Google option winner, Amazon option winner. Lulu was a winner on the 30th. BBRY was a winner on the 31st. Google option winner, Lulu option winner, Kate was a winner, Spy was a winner, Google option winner, a lot of Google option winners. Cost was a winner, Friday, no trades. Again, all wins that week. The 10th, no trades. UAL was a winner. ON was a winner. TSCO was a winner. INFY was a winner. WFC was a loser. Peer was a loser. Peer was a winner. Two trades in the peer. Market closed on the Friday. Off on Monday. Kate was a winner. J&J &J was a winner. IBM was a winner. 
Verizon was a loser. eBay was a loser in the first trade. Did it again, and it was a winner. That was a tough one. Then the room was closed. Google Option winner on the 24th. QQQ was a winner. ESRX was a loser. Lilling was a loser. ABX was a winner. Netflix Option winner. Cree winner. X winner. AAL winner. CLF winner. And then QCOM was a loser on the 28th. May 1st, ITCI was a loser. AMD was a winner. Groupon was a winner. Google Option winner. AVP was a winner. Apple Option winner on the 5th. HCNP was a winner, BABA option winner, HTZ was a winner, Fossil was a winner, Depot was a loser, IBM option winner, M huge winner on, that was really a really big move on the 11th. The 12th, JCPenney was a winner and an Amazon option winner. A lot of Amazon option winners too. Then the 15th, SPY was a winner, Google option winner, DKS loser, AEO loser, JPM winner, Cisco winner, Foot Locker winner on the 19th. Then into May, was a class, room was closed, Google option winner, Amazon option winner, and Facebook option winner all that week, and then off for the Memorial Day holiday. The 31st course was a winner, HPE was a winner, and EXPR was a loser, RH was a winner, no trades in the 5th, and HTS was a big winner on the 6th. The 7th, DLTH was a winner, Urban was a winner, Pay, two trades, one was a loser, one was a winner, no trades in the 12th, 13th was Kink, winner, HRB, winner, KR, winner. 19th of Spy was a winner, 20th No Trades, Adobe was a loser, and Oracle was a loser. Those were two, two losers in a row, but then BBBY was a big winner on the 23rd. And BBBY was another winner on the Monday. ALDR was a loser. The first trade, second trade worked. Winner. PayX on the 28th was a winner, Fred was a winner, Nike was a winner on the 30th, and off of the July 4th holiday. The 10th, ANF was a winner, Coors was a winner, no trades on the 12th, STX was a winner, JPM was a loser, and WFC was a loser on the 14th, 17th, no trades, HOG winner, IBM, big winner, 20th, QCOM winner, GE was a loser, HIB was a winner, STX was a loser, MU was a winner, F was a winner, and ICAM was a winner, and Twitter was a winner on the 27th. 31st, no trades, UA was a winner, AMC was a winner, TIVA was a huge winner on the 3rd, and INFM was a winner on the 4th. So all in all, 145 trade calls, only 29 losers. Wow, that's fantastic. That's 116 winners and a win ratio of 80%. This is what you can expect if you come and want to learn my method, whether you trade on your own, because I teach you what to do by yourself, or you decide you want to do the class and join the room. It's totally up to you. But you absolutely, if you do my class and you follow me in the room, and do the trades exactly like all the ones I just said, you should be able to move forward in your life and become a profitable trader. And so many people come to me, they have traded for years and years and years and lost money and then they come to me and all of a sudden they're making money, they're almost, can't even believe it. But the fact is that my method works, my strategy works, the information that I teach in the course is worth it. It's all how I'm reading the chart, it's how I'm predicting the way the stock's gonna move in a gap, I'm also only trade in the morning, very, very focused. Rare I'd ever do a trade after 10 o'clock. I prefer to short, you get big moves with the shorts. And I am extremely good at predicting stocks when they gap, okay? And if you do the trades and join the live room with me, you will be able to make money on a consistent basis and the amount you make will be determined on the amount you risk. So you will learn all of this in the class if you wanna join. My class is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Class is online. The Golden Gap course is next weekend, August 12th and 13th, 9 to 5 Eastern time. Cost of the class is $4,999. If you want to sign up, email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. You know, if you're interested, email me. If you have questions, call me. Again, my number is 929-3200-GAP. This is an opportunity for you to actually learn a trading system and method that works. There's no indicators that you're buying. There's no fancy dancy things. There's no scanners even. This is looking at a chart and reading the price action and understanding what's happening when a stock gaps. You rate the gap using the 26 point method. That's the entire day of the 12th to Saturday. That's all the whole day. You will learn all the points. And the 13th, you will learn how to do the entries and you will learn the exits, you will learn what the stock swish is, which is a play that I do in the market and one of the best plays I've ever designed and created myself. And 
if you want to come, email me and you can sign up. Thanks, everybody, and have a wonderful, 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 great week.